Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at BergzergArcade.com and this is tutorial 122. So let's go ahead and open up Unity and let's also open up Mono Develop. Now in this tutorial I want to start having the chest spawn its items. If we look at the way it works right now, uh, we'll start off on the chess. Uh, when we open a chess, you know, we see that it assigns, you know, this script to be the the script that's referenced by the my on or the my GUI script and then we find the player so we can you know track how far away he is from the chest so we can open and close it uh, accordingly uh, we, we flag the chest as being in use you know we play its animation uh, we turn on a particle effect if you are using it play its sound effect then we wait for the chest to actually completely open we change its state to be open now and then we send a message basically telling it to populate the chest with uh, five items and of course if we go on to the my GUI script we notice here that we're receiving the message populate chest and we call the function populate chest and we're receiving one integer so if we scroll down to populate chest you know it takes one integer and all we're doing is just creating a for loop that basically creates five empty items and we're storing them in our my GUI uh, called loot items. We don't really want that. What we really want is the chest when it's opened uh, to basically call some script that'll make you know the items according to certain parameters. For now we're just going to stick with the empty items and we want them to actually store in this chest. So when we come back to this chest and we open it up again it doesn't you know make five new items for it. So let's start doing that now. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is create a variable up here and I'm going to create it down here and I'm going to make it private and now it's going to be of type uh, list items again so we're going to use or add the using system dot collection dot generic and then down here we create our list and of course we're making item and I'm just gonna call this loot and I'm gonna assign it up here as well so we're just gonna say equals new list item and then the parentheses and the colon so now we have a way to actually store our items in the chest so let's come down to the open method and for now I'm just gonna put it down here well, actually, let's put it above the uh, the opening, where we actually call a method that will go ahead and create those items and store them in our, our array, or in this case, our list. So I'm actually just going to copy this method right here, our populate chess, and I'm going to comment it out here as well. You can actually delete it. I'm commenting it out for the people that have purchased the script so it's still there when they're if they're not up to this tutorial yet and I'm just gonna paste it in down here below and right here seems good so I'll come up here and I'll call it just before we start waiting so it's called populate chess and I'll keep passing in a, a value for now uh, when we start getting into tiers of loot, we'll actually be passing in the tier here, and the tier, when we pass it on to the script that actually creates the, the loot, will determine how many items we get and basically what quality they are. But for now, we'll just keep it at five. And I'll come down here, and we're just calling it loot now. I'm just going to make sure it was called loot. Yes, it is. And while I'm down here, I'm going to assign it a different name and just a temporary name for now so we're going to say loot and then we'll want to get the index of the item because this is actually going to return an item for us so we're going to say cnt which is our index that we're currently at dot name and i'm just going to assign it the name of i colon and then i'm just going to add a random number to the end of it so to get a random number in unity we can use random dot range and then just specify the range of numbers you want. So you start off with the minimum. I'm just going to start off at zero. And the maximum, 100. 
So all my items should be named I0 through I100. All right, uh, so we're not going to need this display loop window anymore. So we can just get rid of that. Uh, there's going to be quite a few little changes that we'll have to make, but we'll just keep going along and change them as we find them. So I'm going to come up to the messenger that's sent out now. And that's down here. I'm just going to comment that out. Uh, you can delete it if you want. I'm just commenting it out for the people that have purchased the script. And I'm no longer going to pass in an int. Uh, what I'm going to do is broadcast a different message now, and I'm going to call it display items. I'll display loot. And they'll no longer be passing a value. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make sure that this requires it. And by default, it does. So that's my new message. Uh, just let me quick look see if there's anything else I want to change here nothing off the top of my head jumps out so I'm gonna go back into my GUI and I'm gonna start off with the messengers actually let's let's create that function first at least the uh, structure of it so we're gonna make it private it doesn't return anything void and it's called display loot there we go we'll come down and fill that out in a bit I just like to have the name there so it pops up up here when I'm typing them in. So again, if you're following along, you can just delete your old ad listener or just comment it out if you want. Uh, we don't take any parameters and the new message we're listening for is display loop and the new function, which is, well, display loop. There we go. And I'll do the exact same thing here. I'm just going to copy it, comment it out, delete it if you're caught up. It doesn't take any parameters. We're going to remove the listener. The message we're listening for is display loop. And the function. Display loop. Great. So let's come down to display loop. And basically all we're going to do in display loop is just tell it to toggle the display for the window so if we look up here it's going to say okay you know hey we're allowed to display the loop window so it goes through and it's going to uh, basically call this function down here our loop window function and uh, we're going to have to adjust the scroll view but we'll do that after uh, because it's based off our loop window uh, the size of uh, the items in our what would we call it loot items. I believe it was based off the size of the loot items. Um, let me just scroll to the end. Yes, the loot items dot count. We're not going to be using that anymore. Uh, we're going to be getting rid of that. Uh, we'll fix that a little bit later on. Uh, for now, we want to come down here to the for loop that actually iterates through uh, our items that we used to store in our loot items and displays them to the screen. Uh, since we're no longer using this variable, we're going to be calling the variable that's actually in our chess. And I think I actually made it private and it should be public. No problem. I'm just going to erase the negative in front of it. And I will have to do a couple little fixes down here, but not many. And I believe that's it actually. So I'll come back into here and now we're just going to tell it to go until we meet chess dot loot dot count and then for our button we're just going to keep iterating through and instead of putting that number up there on on our button we're actually going to display the name now so we're going to say chess dot loot we're passing the index and then we're going to get its name And I think that's everything we need to change right now to actually get it to work. Uh, let's find out. Start it up and I'll click on the first chess. And there we go. We have our five items. So 63, 73, and 6. I'm just going to remember the first three. 63, 73, 6. Open the next one. It should be completely different. And it is. Now you'll notice you're going to get a null reference. And if we click that, it's going to come over here and it's it 
basically what's happening is you're losing your reference to chess when you go to close your chess. And an easy way to just get around that is just to check to see if chess actually equals anything. So if chess equals null, we're just going to return. And like I said, that's happening because uh, when we hit the close button, it comes down here, uh, chest ends up equaling null. But we're still trying to get the items to dis display out of here. But because it's equal null, it doesn't know what chest to display the items for. So that'll fix that. And since we have a little bit of time left, I'm actually going to get rid of this variable up here now since we don't need it our loot items. I guess I'll comment it out for the other people that have purchased the script. And then I'm going to have to come through and change a few things here. Um, we'll start off with the slider. We're no longer using this variable. Uh, I guess I should cut and paste it for the people that are have not caught up but purchased the scripts. And I am now calling this uh, chess dot loot dot count and let me just make sure I'm not using it anywhere else and now that I think what we should actually move this up to the very top and I'm just gonna put it underneath the skin And I think that's the only reference I actually... Oh, we're no longer clearing them down here. And I think that was the last reference of that variable. But we'll go in, and if it's not, Unity will tell us. We have one here. Right there, we missed one. And that's on our start. So I'll just comment that out. Of course, you can delete it if you're caught up. And that gets rid of all of them. And we'll just do one more quick test to see. Yep, so we'll run away, it closes. Now the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is set it so that it doesn't keep making uh, five items over and over again, because you'll notice now that you open it up, you end up with uh, 10 items. We'll close that. I did get a null reference again. Uh, well, we'll address that in the next tutorial since this one's almost out of time. But again, if you open it up one more time, you end up with you know 15 items and of course the way we have it set up is it's only name in the first five items so your first five items is just going to keep getting renamed while it keeps adding more items in there and uh, it should be need name I believe is the default we have set for that but this tutorial is actually starting to get pretty long and uh, we'll call this one done and we'll pick it up where we left off I'll see you then bye bye